All right. So here's a couple points I'm going to talk about here. The Blacktail, 13 firepower. The firing speed is 0.2. And the capacity as well, enormous. So for the guns, FF and the capacity equals 8191. And you can see here I played around with some for a little bit. Capacity or the firing speed or the firepower for the blacktail is 7, which is 13. The firepower for the killer 7 is 7, which equals 4. Only two guns benefit from a 7 firepower, and that's the blacktail and the TMP, which I don't have. But it equals 10. And it's kind of pointless because, well, we have a typewriter. So, if you make the typewriter 7, it will equal 1. 1 firepower. So, for every weapon except for the TMP and Blacktail, come on, finger, let's go, it will be a lower firepower. And this does work. This is actually 4. I can show you. It actually does 4. That was two shots. So that would be four. Four shots with the handgun would equal eight damage. And that was four shots. And so this does in fact work. And the same thing is also true if we take a 13 damage black tail. And we compare it to the 10 damage typewriter. That works. Alright, so I'm going to hop into the editor, and I'm going to explain all of these. Alright, so here we are. We're in the editor. I got my save loaded, and I'm going to talk about the inventory and everything that you saw. So one of the things I'm going to point out first is I kept mentioning 7, and that is the 7 for the firepower upgrade. And if we look in the black tail here, you can see that the array is mostly the same here. Uh, reload speed, which is the last value in DD, so CC is 4.7. And that's firing speed and firepower, 4, 7. And then it's capacity and reload speed, 8 and 2. Uh, if you're looking at this guide here, over here in the text document, uh, this will replicate pretty much everything it is. Uh, so when I was talking about 7, I was talking about 7 for firepower. Now, I don't have the Killer 7 written out here because it was the very last weapon I used. And this data mostly is incorrect, because if we look at the Killer 7 here, uh, it's 1782. The highest capacity for the Killer 7 is 8, and not, uh, not A. I'm not quite sure why I put that down there, I don't remember, but uh, that's irrelevant. But 7 for the firepower for Killer 7 will make it 4. Uh, the Blacktail... At 7 damage, we'll make it 13, which is shown right here. Uh, that's mostly all you have to worry about. When you when you are manually modifying these values, uh, you either want default or you want max. And the max ones are here. The default ones, you can just get from the merchant. I'm not going to cover that. I'm just explaining what each of these are. So how I found these was I, I opened up the Steam version. I booted up Cheen Engine, and I played with all these variables, and I printed them off, and I found what the max ones were. And after doing every single weapon, these are the max values. Everything here is max, and it's even printed into the editor, so you don't have to worry about it. Like E662 for the hand cannon, I have it here printed too. Uh, e is 0 0.33 firing speed, and 6 is obviously the exclusive, which equals 99 damage. 
the capacity is maxed out, which is six, which is infinite, as you can see right here. My reload speed does not matter at all in VR. It doesn't exist, so you can put any variable you want. It doesn't matter. And I also included firing speed variables. E, as we know, is 0 0.33. F is 0 0.03. I didn't include that in here because having it that <coughs> that low of a firing rate, um, it's pretty damn inaccurate. Um, you can fire as fast as you want, but the gun has way too much recoil, and you really can't use it effectively. And then we have 6, and we have 0, standard. Same thing is also true for ammo. Um, but you have a hand cannon. If you wanted 6 rounds, we can actually use Google here. You can type in Resident Evil hand cannon. And here it is. Here's the chart. Uh, 1 doesn't exist. If we're talking about these, uh, one would equal zero. So all these stats here are going to be minus one. Like infinite is six. All right, that's exclusive. That that's six. That isn't seven. So if we wanted a six-round hand cannon with 99 ammo, we would make this four minus one is three. So we'd make it three. So we have three. And there we go. This equals a six round hand cannon with firing speed, 99 firepower. We made this three, so this would equal six round capacity. And then firing or reload speed doesn't exist. And that would be that. Uh, also in the video, you noticed all my guns had 8191 rounds. This EE and FF is the capacity inside of the gun or the magazine. And this is the max value. It's FF. So, you understand what CC is, you understand what DD is, and now you understand what EE and FF is. HH and II should be zero i don't exactly know what they are and the coordinate data is here which is automatically printed for you in a pre-selected slot so if you add a red nine that data is already present for you so you don't have to worry about the coordinate data the only things you have to worry about is the upgrades and the amount and that's it so that's like a real basic rundown of the inventory. One more thing I'm going to cover is ammo. Now ammo and treasures and hand grenades follow the same array of data, which if you scroll up here, you can see. Here it is. So ammo is the ID, 0, 0, we don't touch it, and then the amount. And again, it's explained here, the ID, we don't touch this, and the last four bytes are the amount. The max that you can do is FF, and that will equal 65535. And then you have coordinates, but something cool happens if we change the coordinates. If you make them 0, 0, on all eight of these bytes, they will completely be removed from the inventory, but are still accessible. So in my video, you actually saw that I had basically infinite ammo, but no ammo is in my inventory. And the reason why is because the coordinates were zero, zero. Treasures. While they do follow the same array for the amounts, again, ID, zero, zero, CC and DD is the amount. And again, FF, FF is 65535. You can actually use the, the calculator, and we have programmer options selected here. You have several options, but we want programmer. And if we select decimal, and we do 65535, we get FF, FF. Okay, we get four Fs. And that's the amount. And you can even see this. If you select, we'll do 
65535 magnum ammo, it equals FFFF. And the coordinates are zero, meaning they're removed from your inventory. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's a good place to stop here.